it came. It finally came. That adapter I've wanted. Okay, but seriously guys, I just got the GeForce GTX 960 and oh. Now, I made a video talking about um, upgrading my graphics card because my HD 750 or 7850 broke for reasons I'm not going to mention and um, so I had to get a new one uh, currently I have my old GT 640 which is the first graphics card I ever bought I actually made a video on it on my old channel on Cooper Wolf 22 so I finally upgraded to good one in the video I talked about where I was going to upgrade my graphics card there were I said I was choosing between the um I think I can't remember what I said I could easily go back and watch the video and then I'd know but I'm not gonna do that I think in the video I said I was going to buy the R9 280 not the 280x just the 280 because um, I looked up stuff and it was powerful enough and it had three gigs of memory. This only has two gigabytes of memory, sadly, but I was then going to buy the 960 four gigabyte edition. And that was like almost $50 more expensive as of when I bought this one. And um, I looked up tests and um, benchmarks that other people made and it did not make a whole lot of difference, the four gigs. Even in 4K, like, the games weren't playable, and it didn't make enough of a difference for it to warrant spending 50 extra dollars. I might as well have saved up for, like, a, a 270, but I'm not gonna fucking do that because I don't want to. Did I say 270? I meant 970. A GTX 970 cost around $300. That's more than a... That's like a hundred dollars more than I spent on this. I've seen benchmarks. That's not worth it to me, because I'm only going to be playing on 1080p, and this, that's just overkill for me, so there's no real point in doing that. My reasoning for buying this particular GTX 960 is, well, several reasons actually. It matches my case, and it has a picture of a tiger on the box, and that is like the most important thing to me. Okay, this is the first time I'm opening it, and I'm not one for nice packaging, like, it could come in a plain brown box, and I'd be okay with it, but this is nice. So, in that thing, all it came with was, like, a user manual thing, a driver disc that I'm not even going to use, and a DVI to VGA adapter. Now I have three of them, and I really only need one, but okay. Now, the reason I bought this adapter, which is an HDMI to DVI adapter, and it took me forever to find one on Amazon, is because this card... Wait for it... Oh, so beautiful. Oh my god, that looks freaking cool. Like, seriously, that that really looks awesome. I have... Y I had yet to see this card from the top, like from the angle that you're going to be looking at it from the case. Got the MSI logo over there, a six pin connector, unlike some of them, which came with like an eight pin and six pin connector I've seen on some of them. This card only comes with one DVI connector. So I'm going to be using this port for my shitty VGA monitor. I'm going to be using this HDMI port for my 1080p monitor because my 1080p monitor doesn't actually have a HDMI port it only has a VGA and a DVI I gotta say this is actually much smaller in person than it looked online like literally all those pictures made this card look enormous okay guys so I'm going to pop this in and then I'm going to run some tests and see how it performs and I already ran some benchmarks on my current GPU, so this should be a hell of a lot more powerful. Okay guys, so I just swapped out my old graphics card for the brand new one, and man, this this one looks like shit actually. I never realized how terrible it looked. 
At least compared to that new one, which looks so beautiful. This looks like garbage compared to it. Anyway, I have some benchmark results from the new graphics card versus the old one with the old GT 640 I got a fire strike benchmark of 1562 with my new graphics card 6500 1500 6500 it's more than four times as powerful as this thing. This thing cost me $120 when I got it. That thing cost me $200. $80. Four times the power of this. That is ridiculous. With the Skydiver benchmark, this got a score of 6047. The GTX 960 got a score of 17,836. Again, that's a lot more. $80 more expensive, many times better. With Skyrim having all 2K textures and a shitload of mods, in fact, let me see how many mods I have installed in Skyrim right now. It is about 84 mods. And I was able to play it at once it loaded everything, because with 2K textures it does use more RAM than the video card has, so it has to catch some of it into the system RAM. So it has lag spikes, which is annoying. But once it's all loaded in, it plays buttery smooth, like 40 to 60 FPS. I ran Metro Last Light, full ultra settings, everything done up. It is amazing. It plays at 50 to 60 frames per second. The latest Tomb Raider game, I ran its own synthetic benchmark and it came up with minimum frame rate of 42.8, maximum frame rate of 76, and an average frame rate of 59, with tessellation on and everything maxed out. That is beautiful. This thing ran at like 12 frames a second running Tomb Raider. That's again about five times as good. 12 frames a second? 59 frames a second. And lastly, Far Cry 4. The game runs beautifully. It's running between 40, 45 and 60 frames a second. It does go over that, but not by much, only a couple frames. So I don't know, I didn't look really. Anyways, this card, yet again, played it at about 15 frames a second. Fifteen. Usually less. <laughs> so I'm extremely pleased with how this new card performs. So, I guess you can look forward to 1080p 60fps gameplay from now on, at least whenever I'm able to. Don't expect that from N64 games, because if you look at it, me playing Doom 64 or something, like, why the fuck is it 1080p 60fps? Well, it's because I'm playing it out of the fucking N64 over there. Right next to that huge mess of crap. It's, it's, I swear it's there. It's besides the Coke bottle. Super Smash Bros. is in it. So yeah, I can actually play games again. And I don't have to worry about the graphics not being good enough. Because I want to play all the games in ultra settings. And this can't do it. This can play most games in medium settings and... It, it can't play some of them, like Far Cry 4, even at the lowest settings, I couldn't get 30 frames per second with this thing. I don't know why. Ultimate settings? 12, 15 frames a second. Lowest settings? 24 frames a second. Yeah, that's, that's proper scaling. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then give it a thumbs up. I will see you guys in the next one.